Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Guitar Guts, the weekly vlog all about guitars with me, Mark Murray. This week I want to show you a clip from a show I played last week. We played some ACDC, we played uh, some Tom Petty. If you saw the vlog last week, you'll see a clip of us rehearsing for it, but we finally did it, so got the video from that. I'll show you some of my rig that I use live for it. And then also, this sweet thing is going to get a remake, a do-over, a brand new face. And uh, it's going to start with removing all these stickers off the back, and I'll show you how to do that too. So. We'll start off with some ACDC, and then I'll see you outside to work on this guitar. This guy here, it's uh, probably somewhere in 1999 to 2003 Fender Stratocaster Tom DeLong signature model, Blink-182 guitar player. Um, Alder body, it's got the maple neck with the rosewood front, you know, standard 21 frets. Cool, they came in really cool colors, this one's seafoam green. It's got a big crack, a chip in it, my buddy. Uh, for the second day he had it, he was practicing that trick where you throw the guitar over your shoulder and it rides around you and then you catch it and keep playing. He didn't have these little nifty little strap locks yet though, so the guitar went flying into the air and came down and crack, got a nice chip there. Uh, happened again one time when we were playing at a show together. Um, he did it next to some steel railing, threw it over his shoulder, came down on the tuner right here and look at this, boom. So not a good look. I think I'll leave it though, it works perfect and it's kind of nostalgic, you know. Um, one other thing he did to it was he covered it in stickers. So the front of it used to look pretty much like this or worse. What we had done at one point is cut up all the little letters and from uh, we went to Warp Tour and got a huge bag of stickers and we cut them up like ransom letters. We started writing things all over the guitars, crazy stuff, and it's time to take that all off. I'm gonna actually put in uh, three single coil pickups, one of my old pick guards from an American Stratocaster. It's like an off-white color, so it's gonna look vintage with this. Put in some Seymour Duncan 60s, 70s, uh, C um, probably SSL 5s or something, some Stevie Ray Vaughan style. Um, gonna go with the three, you know, the full. How dare my camera run out of memory on me like that. But basically, yeah, so I'm gonna redo the electronics like that, and then I'm gonna relic it. I'm gonna sand down the edges here, up here a little bit, uh, make it look all worn and original and old school, and let's get into those stickers. All right, so we'll be using lighter fluid and regular old paper towels. And I guess we're gonna start with this one. This one looks like it's gonna be the easiest to get off. Nothing is right on top of it and it's pretty small. So first thing you wanna do is just soak the paper towel, grab one of them, fold it up into quarters or whatever. Take your lighter fluid. And just soak it all over here. Look at this. This looks dangerous, right? Don't do it near an open flame. Don't be stupid. And then just set it on there. If you want to pour some more on the back, really so get that soaking in. Spray some on the sticker if you want. Hold it there for a few seconds. And the result came out awesome, huh? Still a little bit of residue left on there, but I'll use some lighter fluid to clean that off. Took probably 40, 45 minutes to get all those off. There's a ton of them on there, but it's really easy. It's very little scrubbing. They just kind of come right off, so. Hey, so you guys saw I played a show last weekend with a bunch of my friends at a party, and I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff I'm using, and I got some a little cool setup. You can see I got my Marshall, the full stack set up over here. Got another Marshall over here with a big beast. 
Um, but get to the get to the rig. Okay, so the Marshall. I got the AVT50. It's nothing crazy. It's like a three hundred, four hundred dollar two channel Marshall. It's got a lot of gain. Got good reverb. Um, simple. A lot of people say those cheap Marshalls don't sound that good, but I beg to differ. If you have good guitars and you play good, and they they give you what you need. Then I use this old thing. This thing's like um probably over ten years old now. I probably got it in like two thousand four, two thousand five but it's an old Shure wireless. What I have down here is kind of cool. I built this little shelf thing that the amp sits on top of so that when I want to, I could slide my pedal board underneath and I also run a cable, all my cables underneath through that too so that they don't have wires running all over the place. When it comes to pedal board right now, I got a very basic setup. It's just a wah, Crybaby wah. Got the Marshall foot switch for switching channels. Got the uh, MXR, which I have scraped down to make it look like it says VYP. Praise 90, the Phase 90, then a Boss Super Chorus, then we got the Chromatic Tuner TU2. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please click the like button down below and then subscribe to the channel. Helps out a ton, I do these every single week, so then you'll get it every week in your feed. Um, if you have any questions or comments on the video, go ahead and post those down below too. Or uh, if you want to share the video, that's huge. Um, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got. If you want to share it out, if you have musician friends or whatever, that's great. If you have any ideas of things you want to see me talk about in these videos, go ahead and put those in the comments down below too. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, at Guitar Guts. I post tons of videos and clips of things kind of like in this video. Guitars I'm working on, sometimes it's me playing them, sometimes it's glamour shots of guitars. Um, jamming with my friends, jamming by myself, learning stuff. Um, and... I want to give a quick shout out or two. So RJ, the bike guy that I talked about earlier, taught me how to take the stickers off the back of this bad boy and make it look all gorgeous. So on YouTube, RJ, the bike guy, he usually does like motorcycle stuff, but guitar stuff on there too. And then DVS, guitars and pickups. So they put these contests on their Instagram every so often and I decide to enter and it looks like I won. I won um, an F spaced uh, bridge pickup in white called the bastard it's one of the pickups they make so I'm gonna drop it in something around here and I'll try it out and put it on one of these videos and maybe they'll send me some more stuff if I keep actually if you want to send me some stuff go ahead and do that too I don't mind that one bit uh, I think that's it for this week and uh, I'll see you next week thanks for watching